But what they've done is they've got in to do the other characters for the animated film. It's David Williams, uh, Helena Bonham Carter, Ewan McGregor. So they've got some big name A-list celebs in there. I spray on the end there. Right, Russ, your voice is probably your most distinctive characteristic. Not just darts you've used it for either, is it? No. Uh, no. Go on, give us give us the, the spiel. Oh, dear. I mean, um, adverts. Yep, lots of adverts. Are you still getting paid for those? No, they, they can't say it anymore, McCoy's Chris Abbott. I mean, uh, I can I say that on here? Yeah, McCoy's you can say that, mate. Yeah, um, McCoy's Chris Abbott, because it's, it's um, man Chris. And, yeah. And, and, and it... Present right, get, day, give PC. it the, give it the full, give it the full, Matt. Rich, thick, and unashamedly colossal. McCoy's man, Chris. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, but uh, it might come back round. You never know. Yeah, I've done McCoy's, done Feaster's Burgers. Um, I've done Lenny McLean's uh, the film thing in 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 um, uh, for the film Lenny, the the, the preview for it. Um, Did a voice was, for an animated film as well, didn't you? I've. I'm waiting, waiting. Oh, he's waiting. Yeah, I've actually. I'm on a kids CD. Uh, it's called The Land of Sometimes. It's a beautiful CD. Two young kiddies, four or five or whatever they are. Um, they go to the Land of Sometimes, where the sea's yellow and the sky is pink. And the first thing they say, they get off the boat and they stand on what they think is a big, big rock, big, big round rock. Uh, but it's actually an animal called the River Slouch Sling. Who happens to be a PDC referee? He does. He <laughs> does, and uh, he sort of kicks in with the with the you know. Um, it was amazing because they turned around. The, the, the young lady or the woman that done it, um, Francesca Longrig, her husband is the manager of Jules Holland and uh, Pink Floyd. Um, but I got the gig, uh, got me voice and and bits and pieces. But she turned and said, "Right, okay, the rest. I'm in a studio, so you've got no one can see me. Mm -hmm. All I've got is the cans on and a mic down here." Normally when you're in the studio, you've got a glass there and people can look at it. So it really helped me actually. Because she said, okay then, she said, um, what I'd like you to do, I've got the read there. She said, if you could read it out, you know, hello there, I'm a river slant sling, blah, 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 blah. Lovely, she says. Could you do it gangster one well, day? Like, yeah, hello there, I'm a river slant sling, blah, blah, blah. She said, okay then, she said, what I'd like you to do is sing it. <laughs> right now, the alarm bells. <laughs> I said, Francesca, I don't even talk in tune, let alone sing. <laughs> she said, well, listen to how I sing it and just copy it. So I'm listening to a recording of her singing it. Hello there, I am a river sling. sling. Is that it? No, sort of And uh, I've just done it. I just, because no one could see me, because no one could see me, I thought, right, just go for it, man. What's wrong with you? No one can see you. Don't embarrass yourself. So I was in there. <laughs> Hello there. I am a river slouch sling. <laughs> I scream inside the whole thing. Um, however the words go. Absolutely love it. Yeah, it, it, it it's, it's on Amazon, so you can buy the thing. It's, it's, I don't oh, get, I've got a little I get no cheeky plug in there I've got, as well. I've got no rules. I'll get no rules. There's nothing out of that. But what they're doing is they're going to make it an animated film. Um, and of all the people that are on the CD... Yeah, they're only using two of us. Uh, me and Ruby, she's a singer anyway, a proper singer, a fabulous singer, songwriter. Um, but what they've done is they've got in to do the other characters for the animated film. It's David Williams, uh, Helena Bonham Carter, Ewan McGregor, Terry Jones from Monty Python, but I don't think Terry's too well at the moment. So they've got some... Big name A-list celebs in there. I spray on the end there. So I know they kept me in there, which is amazing. So I kind of wait to get in the studio and have a crack at that. Is that is that one of the most out there opportunities that being in this game has offered you? Of course it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things <laughs> yeah. like that. I've already been in the film. I was in a film called Heartlands with uh, Michael Sheen. Michael Sheen and um, Carter, who, 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 the guy that plays the butler in um, Downton Abbey. Okay, right, yeah. Um, yeah, um, I'll tell you who else was in that. was um, AD... Oh, terrible. I'm, I'm, for names, I'm, I'm so bad. He was in The Full Monty. Um, Mark Addy? Mark Addy. Right, yeah. okay. What, did also, you, what Mark, role did you play there? He was part of the darts team, part of a darts team. Right. Um, Mark Strong. I don't know if you yeah, know Mark yeah. Strong. Yeah, Mark Strong, great team. actor. And, and also James Corden. Wow. So I actually... You are so celeb, Russ. I'll tell you what is, But the beauty of that, 
Og, og det er jo, jo vel, lad mig putte det det svar. Det er meget Jeg got call fra Miramax Films. And um, I turned in and said, oh, you know, we're doing a dark scene, blah, blah, blah. We'd like you to be in the film. I said, all right. She said, how much do you charge? I thought, well, in them days, you was getting about 200 quid for an exhibition. So it's quite a long while back. 200 quid. I said, I said how long is it for? She said, three days. I thought, 600. I said, a thousand pound. I thought, well, I'm pushing it a bit. Okay, we'll ring you back. I thought, oh. <laughs> I've way outpriced myself, you know, Bray, you're a Z celeb, not A, come on. Um, run me back 15, 20 minutes later. Yeah, no problem. She said, um, we'll, um, we'll get a car, pick you up from your house, take you to where we're filming it, which is in Lewisham, an old music hall in Lewisham. Uh, so they've got a the dart set up here, and Sam Hawkins from the BDO, they've got a dart set up and everything. Car picks me up. So now I am, because I'm um, um, a main cast character, You're not with all the extras, which is, I've done loads of extra stuff, but you're not with all the extras. So, uh, getting ill, so I'm in there, Carter, all the boys are chatting there, Michael Sheen, how you doing that, blah, blah, blah. blah. And uh, getting there, do the stuff on the stage, do the, do the actual filming on the first day, second day, third day. Absolutely lovely, signed off on the next day. Way I've gone, but when I signed it, they thought I'm in a grander day. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. Three grand. Wow. You've just said something there and completely forgotten. You've not mentioned so far. You did loads of extra work as well, didn't you? You signed up for an extra. Loads of, as an extra in loads yeah, of yeah, things. Yeah, loads of stuff. Last, someone put on Twitter the other day a picture of me in Last Detective. That was with the um, uh, lead singer of the Who, Roger Daltrey. Roger Daltrey, yeah. Yeah, with Roger Daltrey, Peter Davison. So I got to know them sort of people. That's how I met Tim Vine. I was on Not Going Out. I was a, 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 a mechanic in the garage and Tim Vine and... Uh, uh, What's his name? Uh, Lee Mack. Yeah. Why did you sign it to be an act? Just something to do? Fill in in between because, um, don't forget, dance wasn't... Non-stop. Week in, week out as it is now. You know, I'd have a tour and then I'd have maybe three weeks off. Um, Well, I'd packed up scaffing. Yeah, so I needed to do something. So I signed on to an extras company and uh, Guys and Dogs... uh, Lovely, lovely people down there. So, of course, me doing the darts as well. Old places that I went to, people knew who you were. Um, I used to do Family Affairs. I've done about 60 episodes of Family Affairs. <laughs> But Dave, the beauty of that was Dave Easter, who was the lead character in it, um, knew who I was with the darts. I smoked then as well. So when I was on set, I'd get the runner come up. Um, Russ, go down and meet Dave. Yeah, lovely. So I go down and meet Dave. We have a smoke, have a chat. And then he turns and say, well, I'll get you interacted. Now, as an extra, if you interact, it, if you interact with the main characters, you get your money. You get paid a lot more. I was on about 80 a day or 70 a day. Interacting with a character, you were on about 210. So it was a lot of money. So Dave said, don't worry, I'll get you in on this, Russ. Yeah? So of course, there's me. I've got a bike. I've got to ride a bike all the way through the thing. Yeah, Dave, uh, excuse me, mate, be careful. I say, lovely, thank you. Right out of what's done. They keep it in. That's me interacting. Job done. So it's in. But the same on these things. I went, I've done two on these things um, where I was with Phil Mitchell in the square. We're both, as they've got cans in, both drunk and all the rest of it and interacting. So I need to see footage of this. Right, oh, seriously. And another one, I had uh, Holby City. Um, I collapsed in Holby City. Robert Powell comes and gets me back to life again. And in the next episode, I'm laying there having open heart surgery with a false tummy on there with all the thing in Holby City. So uh, I don't know, loads of stuff. Honestly, it's, it's uh, it, like I say, 60 episodes of that. Um, goodness me, it's, it's loads of stuff. To be fair, I do, I do, like, I've lost several hours of my life because of you, because you told me that, I think it was you who told me, that you feature very briefly in the film Garfield 2. Apparently so. Yeah. Me and Sid. Well, I, I, I know because I spent ages <laughs> online going through that I've film just it. to find the four-second bit. Oh, there's, a, was. <laughs> there's a game of darts on the telly yeah. that Garfield flicks over to, and you're there calling the game. Wow. Uh, 